welcome back to Bits Be Trippin'. Now in this upcoming video, we're gonna take you through some NVIDIA 750 Ti's. I've been waiting for this for a few weeks now. We've been working on the video, making sure the rig was real stable. Can't wait to get this to you. Six cards, one rig, all NVIDIA. This is your host, Carter. Let's get into this. Now in the start of this rig, we start with the BBT6 GPU open air rig. You've probably seen this on eBay. You've definitely seen it on our channel. We actually have a video that we'll throw in the annotation here that you can get to shows you actually how to build one of these guys then from there we take the ASRock h81 pro btc motherboard that we've recommended in a few other videos then pair that up with a kingston 120 gig ssd then doing something a little different with this rig we threw in the intel celeron g1820 then threw a 4 gig crucial bliss x memory in there that's the pc 12800 that is a single stick for those that care then finally we went ahead and threw in the evga 750 supernova more than enough power for this rig found a pretty good deal with it thought we'd go with that and then last but not least the six MSI 750 Ti Twin Frozer Edition. These are the cards without the six pin on the 750 Ti series. Real good cards. Now let's see what this thing can do. Now with a lot of our other videos, we usually go straight for what I call kind of the money shot. What's the hash of the rig? How much power is it using? And then some nice panning shots that kind of give a good look and feel of the build. On this particular rig, however, I'm gonna go ahead and take you through what we do to set the rig up and get it built and then start from scratch. You'll get to see the entire build process here. So right out of the gate, we put in a memory stick that has a Windows 8.1 image on it. It's the, essentially the Windows 8.1 disk that we've put onto a memory stick, you know, place that into the drive and then go straight into the BIOS right from the first power up. We go in there, change those BIOS settings, choose that for the UEFI boot from that USB stick, reboot after the save on the BIOS and let let Windows start to install. Now on this particular build, obviously we're using in Windows 8.1. We're gonna go in there, set some basic settings up and get this thing built. Now obviously loading from a USB 3.0 device straight onto an SSD, this build doesn't take long. A few minutes, at the tops eight and a half minutes on this build. Loads 8.1, comes up to the desktop. Now there's one point that I wanna make here. I usually build these without the network card plugged in. Windows 8.1 will go out and start trying to download drivers and do a whole bunch of stuff that I don't want it to do right out of the gate this simplifies the build for me it lets me know that i'm in control of what's going on i just don't trust quite honestly microsoft because it'll go out there and it'll update something and then i'll go three weeks later and start building something which is the same equipment and then stuff doesn't work the way it did before and a lot of that has to do with because of automatic updates and some other variable that changes so on these builds we go with a network card unplugged then I go ahead and get right into the desktop and I look at the control panel and look at the device manager within there to see, okay, what is outstanding? What is missing here? What drivers need to be loaded? Now, if I let Windows do its own thing, once I plug that network cable in there, it's gonna go out and it's gonna say, hey, I'm missing this hardware, can I find a driver? If it can't, it'll just stay with an exclamation point there and say, hey, please provide me with something. Or it's gonna go and find the hardware that it can register with and put a base driver on there. That's exactly what it will do with this NVIDIA set of cards it will use a base driver. I do not want to use that base driver with these NVIDIA cards just from some basic testing it doesn't work very well. I want to use the latest NVIDIA GeForce drivers and in this case it is the 335.23 driver for Windows 8.1 64-bit edition. And there is a key reason why I want to use this driver. If we take a look at NVIDIA's download driver page and we look at the release notes for this driver, the very first item that we see is the enhanced GPU clock offset options for the GeForce GTX 750 Ti. That is worth its weight in gold. We need to get that and get that installed now. After that driver install goes through, the next item of business is getting the MSI Afterburner software. And of course we need the mining software, which is the CUDA miner that is found on bitcointalk.org. We'll put it in the description. You wanna go out there, hit that link and download the latest version of CUDA miner. Of course our settings will be posted in the description, the exact thread settings we were using and all the configuration. Look in that description underneath the video, you can click 
more info, it expands, and then all of that detail is in there. Now, I think I've talked enough. Let's get into actually what this rig can do. I know you guys have been waiting and anticipating what we get out of this. Now, what we found is setting the primary core to a plus 135 offset and the memory at a plus 330, we've gotten some of the best results from this. As you can see here, all of the cards hashing, we're looking at close to 290 per card with a total of 1.7 and in some change. Now further research shows that we definitely could probably get another episode out of this for going in and updating the current power TDP settings to move those from a total power to around 65.5 watts per card. By bringing that up, by tweaking the BIOS, we could probably get these cards well over into the 300s. But the little bit of research that I have done on that look like the power you she just goes from the what you're seeing here right now at around a 479 to 485 power usage right now for that 1.7 mega hash goes on up to close to 570 so almost 100 more watts for around 312 hash per card so you know we do the math on that we're looking close to about maybe 1.85 mega hash for an extra 100 watts the math really doesn't add up to actually do that you're looking for this particular rig to be something that is a power to hash ratio this is the the settings that we see that are the best so the next question after that is we wanted to see how stable this was so we started this a few days back and just let it run we wanted to see if this thing was rock solid stable it's holding around 62 celsius they're staying nice and cool they're throttled out they're holding that 1.7 mega hash for the entire lot go fast forward a few days and here we are now looking at a two-day run literally almost 40 hours this thing running i've tweeted it a few different times showing you know the 20 hours uh plus showing how how much it was at now now you're seeing it close to 7,000 accepts and this thing's still running so final thoughts on this 750 ti build these cards are right there around we got these cards for about 169 um, after rebate they were actually 179 they're again the twin frozers key point don't have the uh six pin you know connectors you can get cards with the six pin on the 750 ti series the ones that we've seen is the evga for the win edition and the azus oc kind of looks like the dcu2 kind of design but it, it, it doesn't have the copper cores so don't get confused there so in closing i want to thank you guys for watching this uh hang in there for a second if you want to see what's coming up we got a couple more videos out this week if we can we we went almost a full week without putting a video out i'm going to try to get a couple out this week we got a 12 times msi twin frozer 270 build coming up and then obviously we owe that mineral oil mining rig we were tweeting out a lot of pictures the rig is actually built we're actually sinking the oil in um, this weekend we're going to show you some pictures on twitter as we do that and then wrap that video up or hopefully a delivery sometime next week that'll be the third week of march and get that out there i think that's going to be a very heavily tweeted heavily shared video there's not too many mineral oil rigs out there let alone dropping close to six thousand dollars worth of hardware into one so i'm looking really forward to getting that out there stay tuned on twitter you know tweet them out to your friends get some exposure out to this bring you some really awesome hardware thanks guys stay tuned the bits be tripping the bits be tripping